Stop and look all around us at what we become focused on. Crammed into concrete jungles and dense urban areas like caged rats, the collective mindset of society has become poisoned by the illusion of money and the selfishness of materialism. Driven by hate and greed, this form of existence has caused misery, war, and the uneven distribution of food and wealth across the entire planet. It is merely our perspective that must change for us to finally wake up and take a hard look into the mirror of our actions and begin to see the dying world all around us that we have long since forgotten. How we will spend our energy and the time during this fleeting existence on Earth is what has been fought over for so long. Distracted by the promise of pleasure and happiness, the herd of society blindly follows around the shepherd holding a carrot at the end of a stick only to find out too late that they've been led around in circles. This clever distraction has blinded much of the world and created what we think of as a matrix to reality. The greatest regret people have before they die is that they never lived. And they never did anything. Because that great veil that's been placed over us, that is based on this life of conformity and illusion that's been fed to through um, our curriculum, through our our politics, our television shows, the media, every aspect of, of what this is has been done in such a way where we are enslaved here without even knowing it. So the idea is this, we're in this planet that's flying through, this, through the galaxy and people are walking around in this illusion where they never actually think about the fact that they're on a planet. If you look at that and you think for a minute with all the technology we have, right, all the things that show us about our universe and, our, and, and where we are, even with all of that, people have been so misguided by this, this illusion, this veil, that they ignore it. All of it is ignored and it's like the Truman Show, where it's this created, this creative reality that isn't even real. Which is the idea is, we're on this planet, you know, on this, in the solar system, flying through space. And we're, we're this super evolved species that has the ability for infinite potential. To give us the idea that we're, we're part of this vast cosmos and that we are, we're making decisions on our future based on is our species gonna be dependent on raping its natural resources and just trying to get as much wealth as possible and fighting each other? Or is it gonna be based on the idea of a sustainable world and, and learning about the ancients and what they tried to, were trying to tell us about and connect, reconnecting with the, the stars like we used to be back in, the, back in the day. And all these relics are left over all over the world, strewn everywhere, right in front of our faces that scream to that, that all that existed, and we're willing to ignore that simply because we're unwilling to accept the fact that we've been misled. You know, nobody wants to be told that they're, they've been wasting their time. When you learn the truth of what of the whole purpose behind why they're concealing the truth is that if you know who we really are, you're not going to want to spend all your time at some mundane job somewhere doing, doing something that's spending all, wasting all your precious yeah. time here. And you would, but you would lose all that productivity of keeping people uh, their attention. You would lose the idea that their time is being pushed somewhere and their energy. You know, the, uh, the, the movie like The Matrix, how we're just being used for energy. Well, if you think of how this illusion is making us think that all we should be doing is working and just using all of our energy. You think of when you get home at the end of the day to have our free time, right? The free time that we're allowed. You get home from your free time and then your energy is all drained, right? How are you supposed to ever be able to look into knowledge that's deep into the occult of learning about why the pyramids were designed or why learning about like the very cosmos itself? How are you, how are you supposed to even look into any of this if your energy has been drained all day of working? And that's the very idea. The idea of what religion turned into and what our indoctrination and our schooling turned into. And before long, I realized it was this great illusion. It was this great manufactured reality to hold back and keep us in a prison of our consciousness.